All right, here we go. Our final class of this Tai Chi series. We're gonna finish up learning the form and have a little fun. So let's begin with our formal introduction practices. Feet together and we'll salute. Right hand makes a fist, left hand open. Cover and present from the heart. Circle back showing our connection in the heart. Take those feet out shoulder width. Hands to the Dantian. Inhale, connecting with heaven. And exhale, gathering it in. Inhale, like the expansiveness of the sky. And it comes down and fills your body and particularly that lower center of vitality. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. And one more. Good. Okay, then imagine your feet turn into tree roots or mountain roots or something down into the earth. Inhale, pull that solidity from the earth into your body. And then feed that as well into that lower cauldron of the belly center. Inhale. And exhale. Fusion of heaven and earth, feeling like you had a little mystic jewel in this lower belly that's pulling those energies of heaven and earth together. That's going to expand out and form your energy field. So here we go. Inhale, hands come to the heart, but the chi goes to the lower belly, expand, and then exhale, forming a radiant orb around you. Two. And exhale. down. Okay, let's do our warm-ups, clasp, and roll that ball. Wake up your inner smile a little bit, and reverse. Send that smile into the joints that we are indicating. Very good. Okay, open those hands and roll the ball. Dragon plays with the pearl. And you can feel this start to wake up the elbow and shoulder joints, just getting everything loose, reverse directions. Good, then let's hold the ball one hand on top and we'll make a big circle, roll it over and down. And big inhale and exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Let's do one more set. Last time. Then roll the ball up, place your hands on the cloud, and let the cheese settle. Okay, gathering a little ball again. Now you're going to turn to your left side like you're looking back towards your tailbone and bring the ball up and then to the front and down. The same thing to the right. Look back at your head and your eyes. You get a real nice stretch on your spine. And advanced students, you want to feel the energy move up that microcosmic orbit and down the front channel, up the back channel on an inhale, down the front channel on an exhale.
percent. And the last time. So take that ball, place it in the lower tunnel again. Okay, let's keep using our ball shape for our warm ups. Get your legs out a little wider into a hefty stance. Uh, if you're recovering from a back injury, do this very small, and we'll all start small together. So take your ball here, and you're gonna roll it down, and then roll your back through its little range of motion. So here's just a small version. My arms are going, but this arm movement is gonna help move this fascia. And then if your back feels really good, maybe you wanna take a little forward bend and maybe even a little back bend. So you're welcome to play with range here. Do what feels good to you. I'm doing the moderate version. The teenage version looks like something out of the matrix. So I'm not doing that today, guys, come on. Okay, then let's switch directions. And there's a easy one. Oh, not too bad at all. Like you could even leave your torso where it is and just kind of move the arms through this range. And that'll start to ease up your um, latissimus dorsi muscles as well as some of this abdominal fascia and then maybe you want to add a little movement according to your bod work with your own bod main idea is getting a lot of circulation into this waist region It'd be especially good for repairing injuries or pain with areas as you know, the ligamentous structures have less blood flow than things like your muscles. And so if we can get a lot of blood flow and in Chinese medicine, energy flow, then we actually can speed up the healing process. All right, come back to center. Beautiful. Okay, bring your feet in shoulder width apart and let's have our hips go round and circle. And switch. Good. Then we'll get the whole lower extremity. So put the right foot back, get that ankle turning. If you want, you can even add wrists just to keep your brain alive. Switch directions. Put your inner smile back on if you happened to have lost it. And stop. Other side. Here we go. Ankle. Add the wrists. Inner smile. And switch. And it's a really great practice to see if you can do this kind of like complex body stuff and keep your inner smile instead of frowny face. Open that forehead, smiling forehead. This will train you for what real life can be like for a practitioner. All right, shake them out. And we're gonna pull down with the ha sound. Here we go, inhale, exhale down. Oh. Two, oh. and oh. Warm up with a little Yao Jin, and we'll do this in a fun style. So let's start with that cloud hands movement. Start with this. I'll use my right hand. You can mirror me or not. You guys are advanced now at the end of the course. So let's take it across in the cloud hands. Inhale when you scoop up. Exhale across and down. Right. Other side, here we go. Thank you. 
time. Let me get the other hand out and let's take the cloud hand to on. While you're doing this one, try to press up the crown of your head and put the tongue on the roof of the mouth. And finally, lift up your pelvic floor just slightly. These are the three ups in internal martial arts system. And once you've got that up energy, let the rest of your body relax and hang. Good, okay, bring your hands up on top of the cloud. And exhale it down. Oh. Now let's move into the ward off movement. And we'll do this in a fun way. So in the past classes, we've sort of sat ourselves in one stance, but come back and forward and back and forward. And that one, if you become a teacher of this Tai Chi form, we'll always start with that. Don't, don't make your life too complicated for your students. But now that we're in class eight or something, let's make our lives a little complicated. So what you're going to do, uh, why don't you mirror me? Here's my left hand, but you use your right. Hello, we're a mirror. Oh yeah, it looks that way to me. Uh, okay, so this right hand of yours and the right foot, the right foot's gonna turn in, hold the ball. And then this left foot is gonna turn out to do the ward off. Ta -da. Oh, look, and there I am in my stance. You're in your left forward stance. The left hand is in front of the heart. Then to switch to the other side, turn this left foot in, that hand becomes the top of the ball, turn, and you can kind of sink back into it a little bit to get this center, turn the right foot out, and part wild horse's mane. Here we go, so toe in, top of the ball, just slightly coming back to get centered, and then you can turn that left foot out and shift part wild horse's mane. Very fun way to practice. So inhale and exhale. And then we can add a little energetics. So as you inhale, feel like chi from the universe, drawing into your body, nourishing whatever needs nourished. And then as you exhale, like you radiate out, like you're sending out a blessing in every direction. So you inhale, like blessing forces are flowing into you. And you exhale and send them out. Now, last piece, let's focalize that on that dantian. So as you inhale, chi flows in, focuses into that little pearl in your belly. And then from the pearl, it radiates down into the feet, up out of the head, out through the arms, out through your back. We have one more set each side. Here we go. Always. Squiggle your feet back in if you've been sliding yourself out. And here we go. Come to the center, hands on the cloud, and sink that cloud down. Good, let's play with the single whip. So take your left hand out with the crane's beak, and your right hand is gonna arch over, and chop. Good, then we're just gonna circle right through it, arch over, and chop. Four and five. Okay, crane, switch your stance. Here we go. Inhale, arch over, and chop. Two more. One more. And bring it in. And place it down. All right, we're starting to be warmed up. So let's do a slightly advanced one before the snake creeps down into the golden rooster. Let me demonstrate, and then you can see from my demonstration how you'd like to practice. So we're gonna to go to the corner with our crane. We're gonna slide out into snake creeps down. So I'm going toward my corner. 
Then I block my face. I don't have to turn the foot because it's already on the ankle. And I'm going to golden rooster right on up. Then, let's see, got to remember how to do this. Oh, yeah. Then from golden rooster, I just put that down in a cat stance to bring myself up. And now I go on the other side. I slide out. Snake creeps down. Lock. And actually, I want to be facing slightly this way, my golden rooster, so that when I'm ready, crane's beak, slide, and throw. So you do not have to go down really deep like a, a Chinese kung fu teenager um, who's been training since they were five. You can do this very softly. But let's try to get the movement. So I'm facing toward one corner. I got my crane's beak out. My foot goes toward the other corner and I snake creeps down. Then continuing to face that corner, regard, disregard what I said a minute ago, I block and I bring my knee up. Then crane's beak, slide and snake. Block the face, back knee comes up. Crane's beak on the angle, slide and snake. Block and knee up. Okay, put it all down. And down. Okay, one more walking meditation for fun today is let's do uh, Fair Lady Works at the Loom into repulse the monkey. So starting however far back you need to be in your space. And of course, you can always uh, take replacement steps, turn around if your space is not as long as mine. It's not all that long, but uh, you might be in a tiny spot. So let's do, let's do this one on the angle as well. So I'm going to face toward my left. Front hand is the top hand that I press. And then as you step up, you just catch the ball. There it is. I caught the ball. Step out. Lift and press. And I'm walking on that angle. This is kind of a snake stepping. So I step up and catch the ball. I step on the angle, I lift and I press. Inhale. Step, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do one more. Okay, now to get into a repulse monkey, I'm going to take this back foot, swing it back into the line, and I'll get into that posture. I'm preparing that posture, my toes are up, hands are up, then I come in by the ear. Step back, swivel off that front foot, and press. I'm going to take a replacement step myself because I did not use all of my space in the last one. Okay, sitting back, toes up, look behind. Step in by the ear, step back, and press. Inhale, toes up, hands up. Step back, unwind, and inhale. Step back and unwind. Okay, hands on the cloud. And sink it down. Let's play with one more aspect of Repulse Monkey just for fun, because uh, I think we have the time. Yeah. So you'll remember in the past, um, maybe two weeks ago, I talked about how from this posture, when you turn your hand, you want to feel like you're turning a chain like a linked chain, right? So this hand turns, and then it turns my joints, it turns my waist, and you feel as if that energy transmits, transfers all the way to the other hand. So this is very important. We're gonna do that with the feet in a second, but let's do an exercise from the Bagua tradition, another Chinese internal martial art that helps you get this interconnected, like uh, links of the chain 
movement. So what you want to do is uh, we're going to put our hands like this, palms up. So hands, palms up at the shoulders. And then what I'm going to do, take your, uh, I'll do my right, you do your left to mirror. And I'm just going to turn that wrist over. All right, see, I can turn my wrist and not much else turns. But then I keep turning it until that turns my elbow over. And then I feel my elbow turn my shoulder over. And notice, can you see this? When I turn my shoulder, it starts to turn my other shoulder. Like, here's my little belly dance. Okay, so I could do that as a belly dance, but that's not exactly the feeling. I want the feeling that it goes hand, elbow, shoulder, and then transmits to this shoulder over here, which is gonna, it's actually gonna turn this palm up. So that shoulder's gonna drop, elbow's gonna drop, and the palm turns palm up. So you'll be in this walk like an Egyptian posture. My this to your left hand is, is palm up underneath and your right hand is palm up the regular way. Then we turn it over. So turn that right hand over, feel it turn your elbow, your shoulder, go across, turn the other shoulder, elbow and wrist. This is gonna make you look cool at parties, right? So here we go, hand, elbow, shoulder, shoulder, elbow, hand. Whee! Hand, elbow, shoulder, shoulder, elbow, hand. Hand, elbow, shoulder, shoulder, elbow, hand. Wow! And to see if you can get it, like if I had come and twisted those fingers, you ripple it all the way to the other side. Ripple it all the way to the other side. Ripple it. Ripple it one more time. Ripple it last time. Ripple it, blowing it up. Raise it down. Okay, so that's a game that you can play to feel what I want you to feel. So in this posture, when you're doing repulse monkey, now a similar thing. So it's, it's a slightly different order, but same thing. I turn this hand and I feel it turn my elbow, my shoulder, the other shoulder, elbow, and hand. One more time. So turn like a chain of energy from one to the other. Now, similarly, as that's happening, let's focus just on our feet. There's also the lift of these toes uh, initiates throwing the weight back, womp. So there's this little ripple from this toe down to this heel. See if you can feel that toe, heel. Then the one I really want you to feel though, and just experiment with, because it's kind of cool. Maybe you won't get it today, make it easier to teach a person, but let's see if we can have an idea. So once you've shifted, you've stepped, here's the one I want you to be aware of. So as I sink back, this foot twist is gonna ripple through my body as well. So as I shift back, this foot twisting is gonna ripple and it's actually gonna help uh, Enhance the movement of these hands. So all together, it ripples, 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 ripples. That toe has come up. And then the second part is here. And what's going to happen is from this foot, it's going to ripple up to this hand. So I press off that foot. It comes up through my spine. There's a big exaggeration. Whoa! and into the hand, okay? So let me show you on the other side and then we're gonna let it go just in case this is too weird, but I think you might enjoy it as you play with it. So my first ripple is hand, womp, all the way to the other hand, womp. Then I come in, this is all just coordinated, step it back. Now push off the ball of my foot, feel it go up through my tailbone and buck under, like a wave through my spine and out into this palm. Pretty fun. So let's try just three little walks. Don't worry if none of that made sense. Play with the idea that it might at one point, or maybe I'm local and just telling you my fantasies. It's okay. We'll just, the point is to have fun. So here we go. Coil, inhale. Draw in, coordinate. Step back, now press off that foot, ripple through the spine, and out into the hand. Okay, ripple hand to other hand, coordinated movement, 
Back and then press off the front foot. One more time. And two hand. In as one. Press off the front foot. Bring it back. And wash it down. Okay, last move we're going to do in these uh, Yao Jin Qigong is pick up the tiger, return to the mountain. So the Qigong version of your feet are shoulder width or could be in a horse stance if you want to be tough and get a leg workout about this. The inhale goes up. The exhale comes down. The inhale comes up. Separates and the exhale comes down. Okay, so this is a four breath version. I think I only taught the two breath version last week. This is a great version for the Qigong. So what you wanna do is as you inhale, you're gathering heaven. As you exhale, you connect with the earth. When you inhale, that earth chi floods up into your body. And then as you exhale, you stay tonified and you just let the energy settle into the Dan Tian. Or you could be letting it settle back down through your feet. That's a version of return to the mountain. Okay, again, you reach up. Doesn't matter which arms crossed over which. Exhale. In. And exhale. Good. One more time in the Qigong, and then we'll do it in the form. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Flowing down the heavens, breathe it in. Exhale, ha sound. Ha. Very good. All right, so let's put these this move into our form, and then we'll do the whole form together, and then uh, that'll finish class, and then we'll take questions after class. So in our form, let me remember how it even goes. Okay, so you had gotten to your, what's this called? Fair lady works at shuttles. My right foot is forward. Then from fair lady works at shuttles, I'm just gonna turn toward the middle. And last week, I told you guys at the end that I was going to work on some piece, which was, um, I was showing it slightly wrong last week, which I, which I had you guys stepping up to this move. And I was like, why doesn't that feel right? Well, because I actually want you to step back when you do this form. So um, let me get my feet in frame so you know what the heck I'm even talking about. So I'm in this. And as you know, when I'm in Fair Lady Work Shuttles, my feet are slightly off center, right? I'm not in a... Uh, tightrope form, I have this wider stance. So when you turn to the front, your feet turn. This is the pickup tiger. And then what I want you to do is take that left foot, settle it back, and then you return to the mountain. Okay, so in the direction, uh-oh, let me this form again so I remember which hand is forward. You eventually do this on both sides, so it's hard to remember. Okay, yeah, right foot forward. So here we go, from Fair Lady, I turn to the front. Now, sometimes I'll turn this back foot a little bit so it's facing the front already, just so this is a nice scoop. Step back as the hands come up, open and sink. Okay, doing it uh, mirrored to you. So let's see, that was that. So I need to have that. <laughs> uh, we'll see what we can do with the mirror and then we'll turn it back around. But you're gonna go toward that left foot and I turn, I just sneak my left toes forward so that instead of like coming onto this closed little leg, oh, I can open right up. From here, then I scoop back and I settle down. Okay, with your breathing, with your right foot forward, you just exhale 
Fair Lady Word shuttles. Sneak that back foot. Here's a big, 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 big inhale. Still inhaling. Exhale. So of course you need to time your movement so that if you do this whole thing really, really slow, you're gonna be like, that's not Taoist breathing. Okay, so you may, with your breath, you may need to get it a little faster or do the Qigong breath. So that's the classic breath I learned. It's inhale, exhale. Um, but you could try while you're learning, your timing and everything, or expanding your breath, you could go inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Do that one felt good. So uh, let me show you how these steps are working out. Um, and you just get to watch this round. Um, of I'm going to perform the form um, with an emphasis on my feet so that you can get this cute concept. Okay, so here's a little marker. Actually, I'm going to use a smaller one just to let you know where I begin and end. So here's my feet, and form would start about here. So, like this would be right where my outside of my left foot. Are you gathering the universe? Step out, right? So this is basically the center point of my beginning of the form. Here I go. Raise hands. Turn. Doing this kind of quick. Board off left. Board off right. Single whip. Snake creeps down. Golden rooster one. Stepping forward, golden rooster two. Stepping back and repulse the monkey. Okay, so notice I went far away from my thing. Now I'm all the way back. Then cat stance, fair lady, turn, scoop. So I'm basically right back where I started. Gather the universe and your bench. So this is part of why this form is designed the way it is. In most Tai Chi lineages, they um, like there are some competitions. If you go to a performing your forms competition, you like you'll get better points if you end up exactly where you started. And what does that signify? Well, it signifies that you know how long to make your stances in different parts, how far to step back in different parts. And so I tried to design this form so that you get all the way back to where you started from. So that uh, comes into play in this last move. And you can play with that with yourself if you want, get a little rock or something that shows where you started. And then you have to look at like, oh wait, am I stepping back far enough with my repulse monkey? Am I stepping way too far forward with my uh, golden rooster, um, et cetera, because you really want to be coming roughly right back to where you started from. The other nice thing about this easy Tai Chi form is you don't have to have a lot of space, right? In the traditional Yang style, which you probably learn next, you know, you do this sequence over here, that's pretty cool. And then you do this sequence over here, that's pretty cool. That's all kind of the same thing. But then you start doing brushing and push, all the way across the room. And so you're, you're doing all this stuff and then you got all the, then you're way over here and you can run out of space if you have a small space. So this is just a tiny little compressed form. Okay, so let's do it together a couple of times. I'll face away from you. We'll go from the very beginning all the way to the very end, see what we can do. And you know, if that's hard for you today, that's okay. You've got a whole series of videos that you can watch that will teach it to you. Okay, here we go. First move, gather the universe. Inhale. And exhale. Feel the left foot up. Step it out, shoulder width. Inhale, raise hands, or pulse begin, Tai Chi. 
exhale down. Right hand floats up, turn the body, tuck in, slide out, ward off to the left, palm. Step up, hold the ball, ward off to the right. This is the slanting upward, ward off. Pull down, crane's beak with the left, come over, elbow and chop. Snake creeps down if you like me. You want to be a little stretch, you can squiggle that back foot back, sink, press, and block the face, turn the foot out, raise the knee up, one, block the face, raise the knee up, two, step that right foot back, get ready for your pulse monkey, step in, touch, and ripple. Fair lady, gather the ball. Lift, press, and push. Then turn that, uh, scoop that back foot forward, left as you turn. Pick up tiger, step back shoulder width. Separate and return to mountain. Step in, gather the universe, and exhale down. Beautiful. Okay, let's do it one more time with me mirroring you. This form is so nice and short, we can do it a number of times. So, um, and let me take this opportunity before we do it to. Um, let you know your next level of practice, should you choose to accept it, is learn the form on its mirrored side. So that'll be pretty easy if you've been doing the Yao Jin, right? Because you've got Yao Jin on the one side, then Yao Jin on another side, right? Uh, so all that then remains is to string those together in their proper order. And you could do this by using your noggin. This is um, classic part of Tai Chi that as I was taught it that in class the Sifu teaches you the standard way and then you're supposed to go home and teach you the backwards way and then you come back and demonstrate once you've taught yourself that the, the reverse direction um, then they'll take you on to the next uh, thing so it's like it's encouraging initiative in the students right oh okay I held your hand this far now you show me that you can go and take yourself the rest of the way but for today you're going to go the regular way, and I'm going to mirror you facing forward. So I'll do my backwards form, um, but it's a great chance to talk about it. So here we go. Feet together. Inhale. And exhale. And the one move I won't mirror, when you do the backwards form, you still step out with your left. So you inhale and exhale. So that one won't look like a mirror. No problem. Okay, begin Tai Chi. Float the arms up, shoulders stay down, and then shoulders drop, elbows drop, wrists drop, but the crown lifts. Good. Then your right hand goes up. You turn to the right and you scoop, hold the ball. You slide forward, and your left hand comes forward, ward off. You step up and hold the ball. Look to your right. And roll that ball forward, pull it down. Crane's beak with the left, chop over, elbow, chop. Turn the back toes out, sink down, slide forward, snake creeps down. Block the face, swing on through, golden rooster one. Lock down, golden rooster two. Step back, swing the foot and arm, inhale, slide in, and exhale, ripple through that spine. Come in, hold the ball, then lift with the right, press with the left. Now turn that left foot forward as you come up, scoop, pick up tiger, step it back. And return to mountain. Exhale. 
Step in with your left foot. Gather the universe, inhale. And exhale down. Okay, let's do our uh, formal practices to finish. And then those of you who are here live can ask questions if you have them. So palms up, sealing the chi with three breaths. Very important, they say, after you do meditative practices, you reestablish the idea of the energetic field. Maybe that's a real field. Maybe this is just psychological. And traditional yoga practice, it quite doesn't matter. It works. How it works, we're not quite sure. But, but it works, so we do the practice. <laughs> I've tried doing it without doing traditional practices. It's not as fun. So just trust me on this one. So here we go. You inhale, you dip into the earth, you connect with heaven, and then like an elixir that flows around you like a golden egg, forming that energetic bubble. Again, palms up, inhale. This is a magical bubble that radiates your gifts. It radiates the benefits of your practice, but it also protects you from any non-conducive forces. One more time. Here we go. Earth and heaven create like an elixir. Floods around you like golden light, creating that energetic radiant field. Feet together, right hand makes a fist, left hand open, the fusion of yin and yang, and we share from the heart and circle back, drawing in all the gifts of that sharing into our hearts. All right, thank you so much. Very auspicious on the week of Buddha's birthday and enlightenment celebration. We finished our Easy Tai Chi uh, course series. So look for the next one. Next month, we I'm going to probably transition into a regular Qigong and Tai Chi class. So this, I think, I'm not sure, but I think this Saturday morning slot, I'll just do an hour and we'll do a half hour of Qigong, a half hour of Tai Chi. Um, and that to me, it kind of like is in honor of the first class I ever took with my seafood, which was Saturday morning, uh, half and half, Qigong and Tai Chi class. Uh, so uh, that'll be a fun little tradition. We'll see how it plays with the world as they exit quarantine and go back into their fun and games. Uh, but for now, we have completed one cycle and we should be proud of ourselves. <laughs>